welcome back to Her Light Cosmic Tarot. My name is Kamisha, and today's reading is for the sign of Aquarius. Any sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. Um, I did do a premeditative shuffle for you guys. This is for January the 16th to, to the end of the month. Um, I only do save the times because it helps me know what reading that I've done. Um, but whenever you watch this, whenever you see this, um, if it resonates, it's for you. So I'm going to say a brief prayer and then we're going to get into this. I did do the premeditative shuffle, as I've said. I didn't get much off of it, so we'll get into the cards later and we'll see what kind of energy you guys are bringing across. So thank you, Holy Spirit, for the sign of Aquarius. Thank you for giving the collective of Aquarius the highest messages the greatest messages for the greater good thank you for always being with us on this journey we thank you forever and always amen but i use all my decks now um it's easier for me that way and a lot of times i do get confirmations because i use all my decks so a lot of times i'll get two or three of the same card from the different decks which will show me that i am on the right path with your reading and it shows me the consistency throughout the reading um so that's why i use all of them i am in the market to get more um decks as well so please feel free to comment down below any tarot decks that um you like and i'll look at, take a look at them and i'll you know see if i like them as well i like inclusive and um whimsical decks So for the premeditative shuffle, I did get the color yellow. I got um, sticking out like a sore thumb. I got um, getting out of Dodge, getting out of here, going, um, finding peace. Um, yeah, I didn't get too much from you guys' energy. I don't know if you guys are staying quiet on something, but um, even with the cards, they rare, they barely want to come out. So I don't know what's going on with you guys. I don't know if you guys are trying to keep something under wraps, but it's like, I have no idea. Some of you guys could be walking away or going towards something. So, let's see. I always look at the decks now because I've noticed in the past that they were a bit on the lopsided side. They were upside down and it wasn't a good reading because I was like, wait a minute, why are these all lopsided? So, and I have my coat on, guys, because it's cold in this rental space. And I don't want to get sick. I know you get sick from germs, but I notice you get sick from germs. It's plus if your and plus if your body isn't warm. Okay. All right. So yeah, some of you guys are walking away from a relationship. Um, it's clear as day. <laughs> it's all over this reading. So what is the outcome, Holy Spirit, for Aquarius? What is the outcome? What is the outcome, Holy Spirit? Three cards for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Three cards for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely, guys. Two more cards for Aquarius. I was saying, oh yeah, because we have the, 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 the king and queen of cups. We have a perfect pair. So you guys, somebody, somebody's thinking about walking away or considering it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get one more card. For your theme, this is your theme, Aquarius' is theme. What is the theme, Holy Spirit? What is the overarching theme? Overarching theme, Holy Spirit. What is the overarching? Okay. Okay. 
Okay. So your overarching theme is the Page of Cups. The page is about um, all things new. To me, this screams wet behind the ears and or um, this theme is about someone not being mature enough. There's somebody in this connection that may not be mature enough, may not be emotionally stable. Because under the deck, you have the Three of Swords for the Crystal Power Tarot. So this, there have been disappointments and heartaches in this relationship and conflict. We already see here that your situation here is involving conflict. Um, okay. So I believe somebody in this connection, there's conflict in this connection because I see heartache, heartbreak, disappointment, and I possibly see that this person that you have been with or you're thinking of may have ghosted you or may have left you suddenly. It's like you want happiness and all good things, but you are very... adamant about walking away from this connection because if there's too much there's too much heartache there's too much heartbreak and you don't believe that this person is your wish fulfillment or is fulfilling your wishes at this time the wishes for and, and I mean I can't make this up I'm gonna pull this back you have the sun here and the sun here same placement so th that's just confirmation with using different decks and this could be this could be a soulmate relationship because i have the queen of cups here and the king of cups here as well as the six of cups which is nostalgic past life or um past love relationship so it's like somebody wants to walk away or some uh, there's like conflict but the divine is is not i'm getting everything in this reading not to walk away i'm sorry it's all over the reading it's it, you know over here is telling me what the situation is but the divine is not telling you to walk away the divine is actually saying that there needs to be a focus on working together working on you guys' emotions you or the cross watcher there is conflict in this connection and there's conflict about getting to the sun getting to the happiest card in the deck getting to all your wishes your desires because they're not being fulfilled this is the nine of cups in reverse you're wanting to end this conflict to get to the sun and have this cycle begin you want the cycle to end and have a new beginning with the sun and spirit is saying that you need to focus and work on and build and stabilize this is the king of cups somebody is harnessing the page of cups energy as your theme so they're saying that this king of cups figure needs to work on the emotions work on stabilizing within the connection because somebody is not trusting 
somebody is not trusting in the process. Somebody is not trusting that this person is their person. The nine of swords in reverse is like, to me, it means that they're not trust. You're not trusting in that this person is your person. You're not trusting in that this person can change from the page of cups and become the king of cups. The outcome is that love will be stabilized in this connection. This Queen of Cups has a big cup of love that she's offering. And um, I see that things will turn out well. There will be, you have the sun here. You will have happiness. You will have all the things desired. Your wish fulfillment. Because you'll know how to handle, or your cross watcher will know how to handle emotions and or um, they will stabilize within the connection. So, or they'll learn how to work on themselves within the connection or work on getting past this three of swords energy you guys have transformation and just like I said you have this energy here this is your theme and could possibly be somebody within your connection this is a page. This is somebody young-minded, immature, wet behind the ears. This is somebody who... Um, who can be very bratty. You know, this can be... You know, somebody who's like, oh, I'm used to having it this way. And, you know, that brings about conflict. But this, this page has to transform. Transformation. And become this king of cups. Because right now they're in the page energy. And there's conflict. There's conflict about heartache and heartache, heartbreak and not having wish fulfilled. And like I said, somebody wants to get out of Dodge. And somebody wants to go, get away. Because this person is paid. And when I said somebody's sticking out like a sore thumb and they're not melding within the connection. They're just sticking out like, you know, this is, you know, like selfishness. You or your person is ready to solidify this connection. But someone in the connection is holding back. Because they are not transforming. They are not focusing and working on stabilizing this connection, whether it's emotional, um, physical, but I do, I do see that you guys are going to overcome that because things will be stabilized, love will be offered, happiness will come, things will fall into place, and you guys will be able to handle working together and working on things that need to be worked on. When I see this card, I see that this, the Two of Pentacles to me is, a, is working really hard. You got the sun because you worked really hard.
somebody worked really hard in becoming a page of cups for the king of cups. And that is transformation. It's divinely guided. You literally have one, two, you have three major arcana here. And you have double cards, which is double confirmation of the sun. And you have the world. So cycles are ending, guys. And new cycles are beginning. I don't believe this is an end. I believe that somebody is considering walking away because they're not seeing any transformation. And guys, if things are not going well, I'm not saying stay in the situation, but spirit is saying, take a look at it again. Make sure you know what you're doing because I don't see that this connection is one to let go. Aquarius, that was your reading. I hope that this resonated. And please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.